Hi, this is Ray Fugit with Downstream Technologies. Today we're going to look at Blueprint PCB and how to create a fabrication drawing. I'm going to open up a uh, generic page here that I've created, complete with a title block and a revision block. And I'm going to start creating a fabrication drawing. Uh, in this case, I'm going to import some CAD data. Uh, you can see I have many choices here as far as what kind of CAD data to import. I'm going to bring in some ODB++ from Allegro. Once this is loaded, I have the data here, the design data, that I can access at any point. Uh, I can do various views if I want to look at the data. I can mouse over the data. but our goal here today is to create a fab drawing, so we're going to go ahead to our fabrication drawing palette and just start adding some of the common common elements that are in a fabrication drawing. Uh, the first one might be a drill pattern, and this comes directly from the CAD system. And then we probably want a drill chart associated with that. And again, it takes its information directly from the CAD system. Uh, we can position this, of course, any place we want to here. Put it down here. Uh, let's pull the layer stack up out of that data as well. Okay, and let me zoom into that and just so you get a look at it. You can see it's kind of a generic layer stack up. You can modify these. You can, uh, you can customize these to match what you're currently doing or create new ones. So this is just a sample of the layer stack ups that we have. As a matter of fact, we also have the idea of via stack ups in our product. Uh, via stack up would be when you have buried or blind vias. It'll actually show the connectivity through the uh, through the layer stack up of each of the buried or blind vias. Um, the next thing we might add is some fabrication notes. Okay. And let's zoom in on that so you can take a look at what we're doing with fabrication notes. Uh, fabrication notes or any notes in Blueprint, uh, you can view Blueprint as a word processor. As you can see, we've done some spell check here. Of course, we can add these to our dictionary just as you would in any uh, any word processor, and they won't come up as, as uh, potential errors. Um, you can see that... Uh, pretty standard you know you can take a note here you can move it up you can move it down and of course it automatically renumbers for you you don't have to think about the things if you're doing this in a in a CAD system or where it's unintelligent about you know renumbering and, and deleting notes that uh, uh, that don't make sense and not having your numbers uh, update automatically as a matter of fact I can go in here and you know and uh, create a call out by that number and uh, maybe point this to something Maybe we'll take it over to our uh, to our layer stack up, and um, we'll put that call out there. And now you'll notice that what I'll do is I'll move this up and down in my uh, in my notes, and you notice that the uh, the numbering updates automatically for you. Something again, you don't have to worry about. Uh, I can click on any of these if I'm using intelligent documentation. Uh, you know, basically I'm linked right to that note, and even if it's on another page, I can link directly to that note. The last thing we might want to do here with our, uh, our fabrication drawing, we're getting pretty well long, is maybe add some dimensions. Uh, we'll use the auto dimensioning here just to show how that works, where you basically can just pull dimensions off. Or we can use datum dimensioning, where we basically add a datum point. And we'll add one the other axis. And then you just simply drag and drop dimensions wherever you need them. And any any outside feature, any feature inside the board, basically you can simply drag and drop a dimension. So there we've quickly created a, um, a fabrication drawing. Let's zoom out, take a look at it here. In another video, we'll talk about how you can create uh, placeholders for all of these stack ups, patterns, and drill charts, and then just import the data and have it populate automatically as opposed to dragging and dropping. But that'll be in a later video on Blueprint PCB. Thank you for your time.